everyone welcome back to my channel let's go on a road trip so i took the first week of january off and drove from california all the way to texas spent the night in williams arizona cute little town if you ever are near it i would highly recommend to check it out lots of snow it was a long drive 14 hours later three states we finally made it to texas and of course i wanted to check out the thrifts so i stopped at a local goodwill in fort worth texas and stay tuned to the end of the video to see everything that i found welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya if you're not familiar with my channel you can find me on Instagram as Volved Volved Vintage I sell vintage and a few modern brands on sites like eBay Etsy Depop Poshmark and I love sharing hauls with you guys I just got back from a trip to Texas and now I'm going to show you what I found at the regular Goodwills there in Fort Worth Texas I only went one day so I don't have a lot to compare to but I did find some cute stuff. Feel like I actually need to take some time and dig through every rack and look through every shelf. But just skimming off the top, I did find three good items. The first item is this Hello Kitty. It's an official San Rio. Has the tag, trucker hat, just like snapback hat. I feel like there's a picture of Snooki wearing this somewhere online. I have to do a Google image search. Like I feel like I've seen this hat somewhere but i mean sanrio hello kitty always sells so i think this was a good pickup it was a dollar fifty everything on the top bins of the racks was a dollar fifty and i think the belts were dollar fifty too so 150 hello kitty hat up next i found a vintage belt this is a coin belt and it's kind of like a stamped metal and it has like a lion head it's one of those like snake style stretchy belts it's in great condition one dollar and fifty cents the last item that i found was this vintage hat i think it's like an 80s church hat but it's kind of like an 80s does 40s style it's by the brand Coquette. There's the label. I don't know if you can see it. Coquette. And it's like this little platter hat, but it has this mesh overlay. It has a bow and then it has like these really pretty rhinestones. So again, I think it's like an 80s, does 40s style. I think it'll do very well in my Etsy shop. Just needs to be modeled. So yeah this was only a dollar and fifty cents everything on the top 
baskets was a dollar fifty. I could have spent all day just looking through those baskets, but again, just driving by, I only had a few minutes to shop. That was everything that I spent. I spent four dollars and fifty cents. I ended up just rounding it up to five dollars for Goodwill, but. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. I, I only had a carry-on. I was kind of nervous. But I think next time I'm going to check in a bag. It was only $30 to check in a bag. So I think next time I'm just going to, you know, buy a flimsy bag while I'm in Texas at a Goodwill or at an estate sale and just fill it up and check it in. What do you guys recommend? Have you guys ever traveled with thrifted items and how do you bring them back to your house do you ship them back or like do you just stuff it all in your carry-on it, it was crazy i jam-packed my carry-on bag i was so nervous when i was crossing checking into the plane because the flight attendant was stopping people and saying you have to check that in you have to check that in so she was on the phone when i was getting checked in i think that's the reason why she overlooked me but i think she would have made me check in my bag so yeah give me any tips you have for shopping and traveling thrifting and traveling i kind of want to do a series thrift to travel even though i don't really travel far just neighboring states but i hope you guys enjoyed this type of video I hope you'll join me every Wednesday for a new video. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.